I'm Stephanie, a career counselor at Citrus College, and welcome to Career Chats, brought to you by the Career and Transfer Center. So today, in this episode, we're going to talk all about in-demand jobs. So it's been a pretty long road, right? A long journey. Um, despite inflation and pushing through and out of the pandemic, we've arrived at a fairly hot job market. In fact, the number of job openings in the U.S. reached record peaks in late 2021, the highest levels, I'm talking millions, in the last two decades, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. There's a job search engine at Zuna, which aggregates postings from other job sites. Um, they released a report earlier this year in 2022 that echoes the same exact data. Um, the site logged more than 8.7 million vacancies in November of 2021, which has been more than double um, that it saw at the beginning of the same year. Why do you think that is? So a big one is obviously the vaccine rollout. It's boosted confidence. But most importantly, I think just businesses are growing and reevaluating their work-life goals. And, Amer and many Americans are changing it up. And what I mean by that is they're switching jobs, going through what some describe as um, kind of a, a quirky nickname, but the great resignation, or some call it the great reshuffle. Um, what does this mean? Uh, people are simply quitting. Um, people are changing industries. Uh, they're relocating. There, a lot of retirements are happening. Um, and just simply making more moves that they perhaps otherwise wouldn't do since the pandemic. A lot of companies, industries, jobs are moving remotely. So we're seeing a big increase in, you know, remote opportunities. So that's another big thing that we'll talk about in a little bit as well. But the point is, is that you have options and lots of them right now. Uh, some of the jobs that I find that are particularly in demand that saw tons and tons of growth were warehouse workers and delivery drivers. I think that might be obvious, but you know, all companies needed to fulfill all those online orders um, for what's growing out there right now, online shopping. So right now, I'm going to share the top 10 roles that saw the biggest increases for demand in 2022. Number one, recruitment consultant, which saw a 332% increase. What's that? So companies desperately needing to fill all of their other open seats. So imagine there's a company that they have openings, they have jobs that need to be filled. Uh, a recruitment consultant is someone that kind of works in what we call talent acquisition. It's their job to recruit and hire everyone else, and they're definitely in demand right now. Number two, customer service associate. That's over 285% increase. Uh, customer service, I know, is a really broad term, um, but these professionals help organize, liaise, you know, people with buying and using their products and services. This could be from processing orders to handling complaints, troubleshooting if something has arrived late or it's broken or it's incomplete. Anytime you've perhaps called the back of your credit card or received something and it was not what you thought it was, you needed to call or reach out to customer service. Even someone processing any kind of returns or any kind of purchase, um, again, could be positive or negative experiences and everything in between, that is going to be growing right now. So customer service. Number three, full stack developer. What's that? So full stack developer, in other words, is the software development industry, which has you know, always been in demand. In fact, it's growing 22% between now and 2030. Uh, so I guess the, the one thing about this particular field is that through the pandemic, um, a lot of people have resigned in the tech industry and there's been some burnout. Um, even more burnout than those that were in healthcare at the, in the front lines, like nurses. But that means that there's still going to be a huge need for software engineers, full stack developers, and a lot of tech jobs. So if you're interested in that, keep that in mind. Number four, product manager. So managers, project managers, so to speak, they help teams get things done on time, within budget, and whatever those things may be, that could be launching a new initiative, delivering services, basically organizations across industries, and that could include e-commerce, finance, construction. They're going to need these project managers to achieve their goals. Number five, medical administrative assistant. 
So like project managers, administrative assistants take on a huge range of tasks that could be scheduling to research, um, helping keep their teams and offices running effectively. Um, they're kind of needed at every organization and in every industry uh, at a time, especially when medical facilities are under pressure. And, you know, resignations are still pretty high in healthcare right now. It's hardly a shock that medical administrative assistants kind of keep everything together and organized and they're in high demand. Number six, accountant. So in a nutshell, accountants are responsible for preparing and examining financial records. They're the ones behind the scenes crunching the numbers. Uh, they can work for an accounting firm. Um, they can work for clients. Uh, it could be anything from a startup to a corporation to an educational institution to the government. Basically, any, any company. You could think of anything that's your favorite. They're going to need someone behind the scenes doing the accounting and running the books. Number seven, data scientist. So like software um, tech uh, developers, data scientists organize and generate data, more data than we even know what to do with nowadays. So they're looking for people that can help make sense of all that data out there. Uh, in a nutshell, they write code to model and answer business questions. So if you're into any kind of computer science, programming, um, if you're kind of like a critical thinker, you love quantitative numbers, data scientists might be a good fit for you. Number eight, project manager. So I think you might be noticing a theme, obviously technology, but management roles. Um, product managers help companies build and launch new products and features. They work closely with developers and engineers, um, but this product doesn't have to be a product that's physical. It could be an, an app on your phone. It could be a piece of software. It could be a product, obviously, but it could even be a process that a team uses or a proprietary tool. Um, there's so much out there. So in case you're curious, ask a career counselor. And I'm not going to go through, you know, each and every one by name, but just to kind of give you other ideas of roles that are in demand for this year, 2022, um, that I'm seeing, you know, you don't even necessarily need a bachelor's degree or a higher level degree to do. You can do this now. That includes warehouse workers, security guards, forklift operators, receptionists, general managers, cashiers, housekeepers, uh, restaurant managers, machine operators and mechanics, sales support assistants, uh, delivery drivers, cooks, architects, engineers, and the list goes on. So that kind of brings me to what about jobs in demand that don't require a degree specifically? So let's say you're a current Citrus student, you're working on your degree, your certificate, or just requirements for transfer, or just taking some classes to figure out what you want to major in. What can you actually do now? So just a couple ideas, and I know I've mentioned them before, but I would say that the most common uh, would be your retail sales workers. So they supervise and coordinate activities of retail sales workers if you're going to be a supervisor. Um, but I would say that overall, duties can include management functions such as purchasing, budgeting, accounting, and personnel work in addition to supervisory duties. So yes, we do need sales workers, but actually we even more so need first line supervisors of these retail sales workers. Another one that's uh, very important too is fast food and counter workers. I know some people may not want to work in the food or service industry, but I feel like it's one area that's kind of proven to be pandemic proof. Everyone kind of has to eat, even if you're getting to go. So it's definitely something that is great for students. It's very flexible. It can work around your school schedule. Um, and something, especially if you're considering going into a field like hospitality and tourism management or even any kind of management role. Another area, and again, healthcare, no surprise, right? But home health aids and personal care aids. So we're kind of getting to a point um, right now that people are becoming more and more at retirement age. So we're seeing a huge influx of retirements and people, of course, aging. So because of that, home health aides and personal care workers, they can work with those that have, you know, retired or they're elderly adults. Maybe they're in, um, you're going to someone in, uh, at their home, or it could be an elderly person with a disability. Um, they're going to need help with things like bathing, dressing, grooming, 
you could be assisting those um, with walking, just making beds, doing laundry, washing dishes, preparing meals. It's as simple as that. So it's kind of like helping another person in need. And this is a wonderful experience for anyone wanting to go into the health field. So if you anticipate that one day you're going to want to do registered nursing or physician's assistant or physical therapy, anything under that realm, I think is a great starting point and you don't necessarily need a degree for that. Another one that's huge that I can't emphasize more is heavy and tractor trailer truck drivers. So I think right now we're heading into, you know, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, online shopping, you know, great deals online. So more and more people, instead of going to the traditional store in person, they're ordering online. How are you going to get all those products? So a lot of these feeder drivers are driving big tractor trailers um, and they actually are compensated pretty well. So don't, you know, discount, you know, that option as well. And then other things, you know, like I'd mentioned, customer service representatives, like can't go wrong with that. Again, with any time you're purchasing online, a customer service representative could work remotely anywhere you want. And that could also be very flexible. And finally, you know, speaking of working remotely, so flexibility is pretty key now for work-life balance. And nowadays, job hunters have the power to negotiate what your work week could look like uh, and depending on the career path that you're on. And, you know, in fact, data projections show remote work opportunities will continue to increase through 2023. So remote work is here to stay. Uh, research from Ladders, it's like a career site for jobs that pay $100,000 or more a year, have been carefully tracking remote work availability from North America's largest 50,000 employers. Um, and again, just a quick plug, you know, remote work frees employees from being stuck to large cities. So in the future, when we're talking about demand, right, we're going to continue to see smaller cities and towns grow. Cities that have appealing lifestyle elements, but historically lacked access to like great professional jobs will see this growth. And this might be something you, you know, think about in the future, just because that area may recruit high earning, well-educated professionals um, that could have, again, start, you know, transforming that local community. According to CNBC FlexJobs, a remote work search engine identified the top seven industries with the most remote full-time jobs on their site right now. Um, and then if you're thinking about what you may want to do in the future, I encourage you to think about some of these options. And that could include computer and IT, marketing, accounting and finance, medical and health services, customer service, product management, human resources and recruiting. So notice the theme here, whether or not you want to work remotely, whether or not you have a degree or further education, or just simply you're looking for an in-demand job right now, or thinking about what you think you may want to do in the future. I'd say that the general themes pretty much are standing out that technology is big, accounting, finance, any kind of medical field, customer service, just because it's so practical, project management and figuring out who you're going to hire. So that's under business and human resources and recruiting. So hopefully that helped. Thank you so much for listening. Um, to access all the Career Chat episodes and learn more about the topic or others, you can schedule an appointment with a career counselor or you can visit our website. Thanks so much for tuning in.